If you're anything like me, then the last couple years maybe felt a little bit transformative and your life may look totally different now than it did a couple years ago. And as a result, I'm finding that my personal style is evolving with that. And I'm really locking into what I love and it's going in new directions that I really didn't anticipate. So in today's video, I want to talk about my 2022 wardrobe plan. I'm going to go over everything that I like to do at the start of a new year. I really love wardrobe planning as you know, and I think it's so much fun to cultivate inspiration images, really hone in on my goals, and use that as a base to keep me focused so that my style can serve me the way that I want to. So let's get started. Like always, I start my wardrobe planning and any kind of directional activities surrounding my closet with gathering inspiration. And I find that to be so beneficial because as I do that, and specifically when I go over to Pinterest and do this, I'll go through my boards or start to search for key things that I'm interested in, and then I just save it all. And then I go back through those and I start to refine them and pull out common themes. And those common themes allow me to give my wardrobe direction so I can take that inspiration and then really focus it in order to benefit me and my closet. So when I did that at the beginning of this year, I really just went wild. I let inspiration take me anywhere it was going to, and I noticed a couple key themes. So the first First is less sweaters. <laughs> I have so many sweaters and like I talked about in that recent video, I think that we are very easily drawn to kind of tunnel vision and when it comes to our closets, if you're like me and you like to wear things that are comfortable and familiar, that can result in kind of repeat buying almost the exact same thing and convincing yourself that it's not the same because there's a tiny little difference here or there. So I'm really trying to get out of that for myself because because I have way too many sweaters for where I live and ultimately my wardrobe goals. So that is the first thing that I want to focus on this year is really avoid the temptation of buying sweaters and instead restyle what I have and focus my attention in other areas in my closet. And then similarly, I also want to focus in on changing up my all time favorites. So I've been really starting to play with this idea of things that I love, but avoiding the repeat buy when it comes to fabric, silhouette, texture and color and I found this to be so helpful as my style has changed because I've been able to take the concept of let's say a white shirt but tweak it in a way that gives me variety and helps me enhance my style in a way that I didn't even know existed. So I would typically go for a really traditional button down or a white shirt with a collar, buttons down the front, maybe a pocket, long sleeves, and a normal length. And I've been really starting to play with this idea of using that base of a white shirt, but changing up how it looks. So giving it little detailing, maybe a little puff sleeve, short sleeves, a billowy silhouette, maybe something without buttons, something with um, longer sleeves that go past my hands, and really starting to play around with that because I think when you start to have that creativity when it comes to wardrobe basics, your style can really become personal. So that's something I've been focused on a lot. And within that, I've got the white shirts definitely that I'm focusing in on, and then also pants, because I've noticed I really gravitate towards the same silhouettes, much like sweaters. And I've noticed that what I really enjoy is having something that's cut a little bit different. So I first discovered this when I bought my long green pants. Uh, I think last year or two years ago, and I loved them because they were high-waisted, they fit really slim around the thigh and hip area, and then they kind of straightened out a little bit. They weren't a flare, but they're also not totally straight. And that silhouette is something that I love. So as a result, I bought a pair of kind of sailor style pants and those have been so used in my closet. So really leaning into that silhouette more and playing with that within jeans and shorts and pants and just the wardrobe basics that I love, but again, with a little bit of a twist. My next 2022 wardrobe goal is to really focus in on my jewelry collection. And specifically here, I want to go through it all and make sure it's really well curated again, because I feel like I've got a couple pieces in there that I'm no longer wearing. So making sure that everything is serving me the way that it's supposed to, and that I only have my favorite pieces. And then I also want to go back through this, and as I was going through my inspiration images, 
changes and reflecting on my personal style and things that I've loved for the last couple years, one thing that's remained really consistent has been Mother of Pearl. The pieces that I have that are Mother of Pearl, I just love and I wear them constantly. I'm always reaching for them and they bring such a beautiful lightness and a subtle ethereal quality to not only my darker pieces, but also my lighter pieces. And then likewise with just regular pearls, I love pearls. So really focusing in on some kind of modern, a little bit more updated pieces in there. And then also some other stones and some really classic, beautiful cuts, but done with a little bit of a twist. So maybe some things in onyx, maybe some carnelian, I think is how you pronounce it, that beautiful red stone, similar to the stone on the ring that I'm wearing today. And really allow my jewelry to kind of grow the way that my style has. And then the last thing that I want to focus in on for this year is warm weather dressing. It's definitely one of my goals for this year because like I mentioned in one of my recent videos, I've kind of neglected it. I really don't like when it's hot outside. Specifically here where I live, it gets really, really hot for a while. It's like 100 degrees and 100% humidity and it's not very comfortable to get dressed. So I've avoided it. And much like I mentioned at the beginning, my tunnel vision for sweaters has resulted in a lot of cold weather stuff and not enough warm weather stuff. So I want to remove that excuse and focus in on that and allow my wardrobe to serve me for the entire year. So I'm definitely going to be sharing more of that in different fabrics and cuts and little things that I figure out so that I can feel really good even when it's hot. Now I want to go over my 2022 color palette. So I have a color palette for my closet, as you know, and I love color palettes. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it because they allow you to mix and match and everything just goes so effortlessly and you feel great in everything. So mine started really basic. I had like two or three colors and it's grown since then. And I love every color that I have. So specifically here, I want to focus in on two areas. The first comes as a result of an in-person color analysis that I did. I'm going to do a video all about it because it was amazing and I learned so much from that. And so I want to focus in on the color green and one or two additional colors that were given to me in that consult. So I'll definitely be sharing more soon. And then as a result of the warm weather dressing and then those lighter shades and the white tops that I want to focus on, I want to pay special attention to my whites, my off whites, those creamier colors and really build that part out. Now I want to go over the things that I won't wear in 2022. So just like breaking down your inspiration and setting your intentions of what you want from your wardrobe, I think identifying what you don't want can be equally beneficial and having those two working in tandem is really helpful for me. So the first thing that I won't wear this year is predictable combinations. And specifically here, I mean like a standard white shirt paired with standard black pants. And much like I mentioned in the inspiration breakdown, I want to be more cognizant of going for different silhouettes and using everything that I've learned about myself the last few years and allowing my silhouettes and my colors and my cuts to really serve that. So I want to pay really close attention and not fall back on repetition. I also really want to not romanticize cold weather dressing because I'm obsessed, like I mentioned, and having sweaters and pants and jeans and blazers are my favorite. And so I want to start romanticizing warm weather dressing. I already love spring and I want to find a way to love uh, summer dressing as well. So definitely going to focus in on that a little bit and not focus in and not wear exclusively my cold weather stuff. And then I also want to, much like I mentioned last year, not repeat buy from the same brands and the same silhouettes and cuts. So this is very similar to the first one, but I find that when you're trying to break out of redundancy, going somewhere different than where you would typically shop can be really helpful in that. So I'm making conscious effort to do that myself and I've already found a lot of benefit in that. And the last thing that I won't wear in 2022 is things that don't challenge me or allow me to step outside of my comfort zone. So I've noticed that as a result of really trying to hone in on my style and understand myself, I've almost limited myself 
myself in some ways, and I don't want to confuse understanding myself with restricting myself. So if there's something that I automatically ignore because maybe I'm a little bit insecure about it, or someone somewhere maybe said I shouldn't be wearing it, or I built that in myself over the years, I want to be really conscious about breaking that down and trying to understand that a little bit more about myself and then lean into certain areas where I can challenge myself and maybe uncover things that I didn't know I loved. I started doing that the last couple years and I've been so happy with the results and I've put less restrictions on myself, less rules, less guidelines, and instead really allowed it to be a fully creative experience. So I want to do that and not put anything off limits for whatever reason. So that's something I'm really excited about because I think it's helping me grow as a person, not only just in my personal style. So I hope that you liked this and I hope that my wardrobe cultivation and the videos that I make about my own style journey can help you as well. I think that a lot of us can be on a very similar trajectory sometimes and by seeing um, that similarity reflected in someone else, I find a lot of comfort. So hopefully can do the same for you. And I would love to know in the comments down below what you're hoping to get from your closet and if there's anything I can do in my videos this year to kind of help you with that. Definitely let me know. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.